Good morning friends and welcome to my channel. It's another warm sunny day here and I am taking preparation for an art challenge today called favorite fish art challenge. Here I have my sketchbook and for the very first step which is sketching I am using a 6 edge pencil. I usually use 6 edge or 4 edge for sketching. You can use any light shade pencils for sketching. So let's move on to the first step, sketching. For this particular challenge, I have chosen clownfish as my favorite fish and kind of tried to word play around the subject clown. I am going to create a storytelling kind of dramatic theme based artwork for this challenge. I am very thankful to my fellow artist friend for inviting me to participate in this art challenge. To me, art challenges are always so fun and exciting. To have a certain imagination according to the topic, make something new and unleashing creativity. As an artist, you can grow a lot and understand and identify your own style by the help of art challenges. As you can see here, my basic sketch is complete now. I drew a clown face and some clown fishes here so after i am all done with my sketching let's move on to the very next step which is coloring now i am going to add color to this drawing to paint it i will use brushstroke gouache paints that are already in my color palette and these are all my paint brushes i am going to use for painting first I am going to color the clown face and for the face I am applying flesh tint color. And for the nose I am applying color scarlet. using hot pink color to paint the face paint and mouth for the clown. I am working a lot with gouache these days because the more I am working with it the more I am liking it. It can be used as watercolors when it's diluted enough with water or it can be used like acrylic paints because of its high opacity. So I am using gouache and it's been a very satisfying journey for me. Now I'm going to work on fishes. I love to draw fish, especially clownfish, after I saw the movie Finding Nemo. There I got to know that clownfish are named as clown but are not funny at all. And they love sea anemone and eventually they live there. Anemone and clownfishes shares an unique relationship and bond with each other. So I also created a transformation here. I took the concept of the hair of the clown and made it alike anemone. Like you can see here a tiny clownfish is peeking from the hair of the clown thinking of it as its home anemone. And now after I have done the painting process I will proceed to the third and the very final step which is detailing. I am going to use Camlin Triangular color pencils over the gouache paints to add some details to make the painting more beautiful. I will make the facial features more highlighted and I will add more details to the hair accessory of the clown to make it realistic. I'll also give a glow up to the fishes. Mm, yeah, literally a glow up as they're glowing. So this is the final artwork. I hope you enjoyed the video and make sure to like and share this video. And don't forget to subscribe my channel for more interesting art content. 
so that's for all today see you in another exciting video thanks for watching bye bye